Hey everyone, Craig Lowell from Do It back again to walk you through another common cloud optimization task that can quietly eat into your budget and how you can stay ahead of it using Do It Cloudflow. Let's talk about support charges for Amazon EKS. Every Kubernetes version in EKS has a defined support window. And once that window ends, your clusters roll into what's called extended support, and AWS starts charging you 60 cents per cluster every hour. Now that may not sound like much, but if you've got dozens of clusters, those charges can add up to thousands of dollars per month, just for keeping outdated versions online. Fixing this problem requires upgrading your clusters before they fall out of standard support. The problem is that knowing which clusters are at risk isn't always easy. Clusters tend to be scattered across regions, accounts, and teams. Checking versions in the console, cross-referencing AWS release notes, and chasing down cluster owners is a tedious, manual task and a poor use of engineering time. But that's exactly where Cloudflow comes in. With Cloudflow, you can automatically detect clusters approaching the end of standard support, notify the right owners, and even trigger remediation actions, such as creating a JIRA ticket via Doit threads, all from a single workflow. And because Cloudflow works with native AWS APIs and includes a detailed run history, engineers can track exactly what's happening behind the scenes to make any necessary adjustments to the process. So whether you're trying to prevent surprise costs or enforce good cloud hygiene, Cloudflow makes it easy to take action before extended support charges hit your bill. Thanks for watching. For more information about Cloudflow and how you can apply it to recurring FinOps tasks, head over to doit.com.